This is a passage on consciousness and these are Baba's words. You may find it a bit abstract, but let's just walk through this passage and see what it tells us. Pure consciousness is Brahma, God, and worthy of our devotion and worship. One who worships Brahma is called Brahmaveta. Pure consciousness is exceptionally huge and gigantic. It has within it millions of trees, millions of human beings, millions of other living beings, all the galaxies, sun, moon, stars, everything that we can see and all that we cannot see is dwelling within it. Whatever you can see, feel, hear or know, pure consciousness is the prime reason and the root cause, the primordial source of everything. O oh, Nana, what more should I tell you about consciousness? It is beyond human conceptualization and explanation. It's our own experience. Everything you are seeing right now Hearing right now You are seeing me on the screen Listening to my voice You are only seeing me And hearing me Because you are conscious If you were a dead body Seeing and hearing would not happen. It's a very important point. Everything is arising in consciousness. So when I go for a walk, for example, on the beach or if I'm in the mountains, I look up at the sky and see the stars. Whether it is a star in the sky millions and millions of light years away or pebble in front of me, both are within my consciousness. That is how vast consciousness is, as Baba says. Now, if we extend this further, we realize there is nothing outside us. The Maya makes it appear to be outside us. So, I am not really outside you because I am appearing within your consciousness. That is how close we are. <laughs> you see, if one just ponders on this, supposing you close your eyes and you hear two voices, someone you really like and you are very fond of and someone you don't like at all, and you hear both their voices, you now realize both the voices are emanating from consciousness. I have distinguished them. This one I like, this one I don't like. The me, the individual has stepped in based on its conditioning, nature, genetics, whatever it be, and has now split what is one consciousness 
into what I like, what I don't like. But as Baba points out, who are we truly? This is the journey within, you see, because so far the journey has been without, outwards. Now the gaze is turning inside. There is nothing apart from you because everything is within consciousness. Without consciousness, you're dead. <laughs> you see? So, as Baba says, whatever you see, feel, hear or know, pure consciousness is the prime reason. So, whether I see something, I touch something, I taste something, I smell something, hear something is only possible because there is consciousness here. Without consciousness, what can the ear hear? What can it see? The body cannot see anything, the eyes cannot see. Without consciousness, these are as good as irrelevant. Consciousness is everywhere, free from all kinds of karma. It is thoroughly innocent, faultless, pure and perfect. Pure consciousness is such Chitananda or Satchidanand, absolute truth, divine knowledge and eternal bliss. All living beings belong to Almighty God and we are in no way different than God. Our soul is consciousness energy, a very tiny entity of this gigantic, omnipresent, pure consciousness. This consciousness is everywhere, free from all kinds of karma. What does this mean? The baby the newborn baby is conscious. Birth has happened. It's a living being. Now, who is looking after that baby? You may say, the mother. But firstly, the baby is conscious. Pure consciousness, unstained by the ego. This pure consciousness brings milk to the baby, looks after the baby in the form of the mother. That pure consciousness, you see, why does everyone go towards a baby? Oh, so cute, so sweet. Because that is unconditioned consciousness, vibrant, pure and bright like the sun, full of wonder, big eyes, pure consciousness, Bal Krishna. The me has not stepped in yet. So this pure consciousness is naturally free from karma. Why? Because karma means action, and action is based on doership. The baby is not doing anything to keep itself alive. Now that pure consciousness is here right now. Only the body of the baby has become now the body of an adult. Thanks to the intake of food. But that pure consciousness is there right now. Isn't that a most beautiful thought? And sages know that that consciousness which looked after them as a baby is looking after them now. Therefore, they do not exercise too much doership in their lives because they trust that consciousness. Whereas we ordinary people, we are afraid of life. Now it's a battle. 
I must survive. That trust has gone. That trust, that in pure consciousness, free of karma is gone now. Because I feel I am living my life, I am accountable, I am responsible. God is not going to help me in any way. So this is a beautiful uh, passage on pure consciousness. It's really is quite uh, what should I say? It's overwhelming, you know, when you think in your deepest, darkest hours. Just give this a thought. That, that consciousness which took care of me as a baby is here right now. And the baby didn't care what happened to it the next moment. Because the ego had not formed. So there was no fear.